This video is made possible by TP-Link, the most reliable networking company out there. Tech Guy 21 back, and today I'm going to be unboxing, setting up, and reviewing the TP Link 350 megabits per second mini wireless and USB adapter. Now, let me start off by saying a huge shout out to Tech uh, to TP Link. They sent this product over, and I'll link this product down below and TP Link's website right below that like button. So we are going to unbox, set up, and review this product. There will be a written review on my um, website, and there also will be uh, a link to the uh, review on my app, which will be updated very soon. Anyway, let's get into the unboxing. So first thing we see, there is two years of warranty. Um, the model number is TL-WN823N, and on the right hand side we can see that it is Windows 8 compatible, package contents, wireless and USB adapter, quick installation guide and resource CD. On the back, we can see that uh, it's IEE 802.11BGN standards, frequency type 2.4GHz, interface USB 2.0, wireless speed up to 350 megabits per second, and operating system compatibilities, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. LED is a, stat a status indicator light. Security, we have WEP, WPA, WPA2, WPA-PSK, and WPA2-PSK. Dimensions, 1. 0.54 by 0 0.72 by 0 0.31 inches. On the other um, side, we have the QR code to scan to get more information. Um, WPS button is included, so basically a WPS button will allow you to connect it to your Wi-Fi um, without entering a password or choosing your SSID. So basically you would press the button on the adapter and go ahead and press the button on the router or your uh, modem and they would pair together instantaneously. Anyway, so I'll open this and get back to you guys. Okay, so the first thing we see is the USB adapter itself and we can take that out easily. To take this out, we can push it out really easily. There we go. And we can see um, that's how small it is. We can see the TP-Link branding and the WPS button at the bottom. There is um, a uh, cap on the top, which is hard to take out with one hand. But let's look what's inside the box. So we have the resource CD. So this is, these are all your drivers that you need to install in order to make this adapter work. But if you're installing it on Windows 10 Technical Preview or Windows 8, you do not need this resource CD and you do not need to download the drivers from tplink.com. But if you're installing on Vista, XP, or Windows 7, you do need this CD or you can download the drivers. Um, we have the quick installation guide in English and we have the quick installation guide in French. So let me move all these things to the side and let's take a look at the wireless adapter itself. So you can take out the cap and you can find the plug. So basically if you want to plug it you would plug it like this and the WPS button would be at the bottom. Um, so yeah. Uh, I have Windows 10 technical preview so it will install it automatically but instead I will um, use the resource CD 
to install it. So let's get into the installation. Okay, so I've plugged in the wireless and USB adapter and um, I've inserted the CD and I'm going to press auto run. So we have three choices, the TLWN821N, TLWN822N, and the TLWN823N. We have the 23N, so we're going to press install driver and utility. So it's going to take a moment, and you need to press yes for user account control. Then it's preparing setup. So now we can press next. It did find the drivers. And we're going to press next. In install. And it's going to install the drivers we need. This installation is very similar to the one for the 150 megabits per second um, nano USB adapter. So we can press finish. And now what we need to do is connect to our wireless network. So it would show us um, the security and it would show us the channel if it's 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. Um, now you can press the WPS button and go to your modem and press the WPS. So we'd go to WPS, push the button to um, my access point or wireless router router sorry or um, enter the pin of my access point so I just press the WPS button searching for an available network so what this means is I would have to go and press the WPS button on my modem since it is downstairs I can I cannot go do that right now so the easiest way is to press network and choose your SSID now I'm already connected to mine Actually, I'm not, so I will connect to mine right now. Okay, so it's connecting. And by the way, I have turned off uh, my computer's wireless antenna. So we can close that. And we're pretty much done the setup. So we can press close, finish, and exit. This video is made possible by TP-Link, the most reliable networking company out there. Okay, so now what I want to do is bench, uh, do some benchmarks. So I'm going to uh, do a speed test, and the usual speed I get is 9 megabits per second on my regular wireless antenna. Um, also, I get 1 megabit per second on upload speeds. So let's see um, what we can get with this 300 megabits per second Wi-Fi adapter. So we can see it's already over 10 megabits per second. It's at 11.67 and it's actually going higher. So as we can see, we got 11.59 megabits per second download. So let's see what we're going to get for upload. And we passed 1 megabit per second, which is my regular speed on the Asus XMA200. Sorry, X200MA. The laptop I reviewed. So that's what I usually get. So this tells us that this um, Wi-Fi adapter is actually faster than the antenna you get pre-installed in the X200MA. So this is pretty much it. Um, I want to thank TP-Link so much for sending this over. Uh, I'm going to link the website down below. I'm going to link their YouTube channel. I'm going to link their uh, this product. I'm going to link everything they have. And I'm going to link Jafar175 down there. King of Fair. And make sure to check out those uh, their channels. And that's pretty much it. This um, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is Tech Guy Twenty One signing out. Peace.
this video is made possible by TP-Link, the most reliable networking company out there.